everyone, Matt, Paul Offshore Fishing, coming at you from my Sea Fox Commander 246. Wanted to go over the uh, chart plotter sonar combo that I'm using. Um, I ordered it when I bought my boat. I had our, my dealer install it, and uh, it is a, go, a Simrad Go 9 XSE. Uh, got a lot of functionality you can put in a radar it came with the total skin transducer um, autopilot uh, enabled has a little autopilot module or functionality in it where it will talk to an autopilot com uh, computer um, <clears throat> I said radar also it is compatible to the forward sonar um, however it is not network capable so it's only a one standalone unit it does have the NEMA connections and I actually have it paired with a Simrad RS12 VHF radio and I've also gone ahead and registered on the distress signal um, pretty much what that does is if there's a distress signal um, or if I'm in distress I can hit the button on the GPS and it'll shortwave radio out my GPS coordinates so that's a good function to have available uh, worth worth a little bit of money to uh, network that started out obviously this is the cover that comes on the Simrad unit and uh, my screen's a little bit dirty I need to get some cleaner on it um, there is my VHF the RS-12 uh, it is not um, an AIS unit where it'll transmit I guess to the shipping to um, that's I guess that's the shipping channels or a shipping type uh, VHF it'll broadcast your coordinates and your heading um, out over those frequencies um, obviously it have to be net or uh, excuse me not network but NEMA to your uh, chart plotter right, I just uh, fired up um, or turn my battery switch on I've turned this down but it'll give the radio down if the chart plotters not on it'll basically come up and give you a tone that there's no GPS information but we'll go ahead and start up the Simrad Go 9 uh, I also have it as you can see in a flush mount configuration <coughs> the uh, Simrad Go 9 is all a, a total touchscreen system a um, little bit a uh, little bit to get used to but uh, uh, it, it has worked for me there's also a, a Simrad app you can get on your phone and if you're linked on to your Wi-Fi you can receive updates um, you basically can put on um, your Simrad unit here is Wi-Fi and I'll, as you can see here here's uh, the sonar I, that's my typical uh, split screen but uh, I, I run it in chart with sonar obviously you got structure scans regular sonar and chart um, that looks like radar there is a nav function um, you got instruments this is pretty cool uh, the fact that I also have everything uh, I put another NEMA backbone or TN and routed it into my Yamaha gauges so I got fuel uh, trim voltage RPM um, and then speed across the ground is based off of the GPS and I'll see if I got not. It's got the water temperature and the only thing is my Linko trim tabs um, don't have there the the controller for it is the CFOX controller so the tabs don't read here but the newer uh, Linko trim tabs um, I believe if it's got an indicator on it or have a NEMA port where you can put another T and I could put in what my tabs are here in the gauges so that's a pretty cool feature uh, the other thing is in order to save upgrades obviously if you come in here to settings and there should be wireless wireless goes you can hook onto your Wi-Fi at the house and you can download updates from Sinrad and you also um, with that you can get the app on your phone you can do a wireless basically it has its own built-in Wi-Fi here you can connect with it in Wi-Fi and you actually have a mirrored uh, image 
on from this screen will show up on your phone. So if you're on the bow, you could have what your sonar is doing on the bow. Um, fuel tracks, navigation, autopilot, uh, like I said, echo, chart, and system. Um, one of the other things is this is updated as of, I believe, March. For updates to save on this unit, you have to have a micro SD card saved into here, and it'll pretty much come up. Let's see. Uh, you got moon phases, uh, rise, position, <clears throat> what the moon is, um, kind of cool, cool stuff. One of the things with uh, the recent upgrade, it used to have a spot on here for um, the autopilot. And if you go, let's see, exit out that. You see what it's done here. Get that back. What it's done here is add a pullout bar for the autopilot. I will say it's easier to get to. The only thing I have not liked about that, now it'll stay up here and doesn't take up your whole screen. Um, it takes a little bit of stuff like it'll hold drift, no drift nav. Now, what's a little bit weird is you come up in here and engage and then non follow, and then I believe I'm trying to figure out remember how it goes, but to do turns, it's a little bit. It's not a very user friendly when it comes up when you're trying to do a turn. Like if you're trying to circle a, um, basically a wreck or a reef, if you're trying to just do a slow turn on it, it's a little bit difficult to get. It's a, I guess I need to read up on the update, but the up, I don't like, what I'm getting at is I don't like this update, just the fact that it's a little cumbersome to get to do the turns and the functionality. Um, I don't have radar. Would I like to have it? Yeah. Will I get it? Probably not. If I had a choice to, to, between the radar and, let's say, a Minn Kota trolling motor to put on the front that's got the pinpoint where it keeps you over a GPS coordinate, I would probably go with the trolling motor. The fact that you could it makes it a whole lot it just basically changes the game on wreck fishing um no more drifting no more worrying about losing an anchor i mean it just is going to change uh the way everything works on that so overall i like this unit um I, right after i got it i mean it was very reasonable i think i paid at the time they had a sale so i paid 900 dollars for it which is un i thought unbelievable um i looks like i can fit a 12 here but now, you know, right after I got that nine at the time was the biggest one they had when they, or excuse me, they had just came out with the 12, so the nine was reduced. And then I think last year they came out with the 16, and I know it's massive. I wouldn't be able to fit it in here, uh, but it was, it's a sweet looking unit. Uh, going back, these are, you cannot network them like uh, your typical NS your NSS model Simrads. Um, I would say if I got another unit, I'd probably get an NSS7 with the Seymour maps preloaded. Um, and the reason why that is is because you get a Seymour maps chips, it's like $700. And to get the Seymour map uploaded on a Simrad unit is like $850. So, shoot, put that, you know, put, put another unit on there, on here. But uh, like I said, I think my next purchase, if it was going to be a, an upgrade to the boat here, would be that uh, trolling motor unit. Um, I like, don't get me wrong, I like to uh, troll as much as the next person, but uh, my wife likes to bottom fish, and I love grouper, if you hadn't already found that out, but I'll tell you, I love grouper over everything. Anyways, like I was saying, the Go 9, I like it, enjoyed it so far. Um, the autopilot feature, now don't get me wrong, I got a, this is a smaller boat, so it's going to get thrown around a lot more in the waves. Uh, I'm trying to diagnose some different things, but uh, I will say that I was kind of disappointed in that upgrade. Um, 
however I do know or I do have to admit that I have tried using it in some kind of snottier conditions with a lighter boat so it doesn't you know probably doesn't go to its full potential uh, that being said uh, I guess my biggest hang up is the fact that I'll be running around run I'll be running down the shore or the beach or in the channel and um, my cut rate compass has got some sort of issue to it uh, it shows me that I'll be running like 45 to 30 degrees left or right depending on which way I'm going to my direction of travel and I went with that Minn Kota system and adds another rate compass to uh, this rig it actually puts it up on a bow it'll be interesting to see you know the difference in quality on those companies they can't be too much different but uh it'd be interesting to see um to set me up with that trolling motor unit though is going to be about thirty six hundred dollars and i don't have that in me right now so maybe in another year or two that'll be a, a good mod for me anyways hope everybody uh Enjoy this video. There's my unit, and uh, we'll catch you back next time. Thanks.